Warning, the following video contains MLP related content. It also contains at least one or more of the following. Cursing, violence, immature jokes, funny reactions, or verbal and not safe for wear content. If you do not wish to view anything that may contain any of these, please immediately go to your previous page. Otherwise, stick around and enjoy the show. Hello everyone, pretty much 44 here, and I am back for another reaction! This time around, we are returning to the Princess Trixie Sparkle series from Magpie Pony. We are on episode 5, The Pursuit of Tickets. Uh, obviously, uh, this is gonna be another long episode, a whopping 35 freaking minutes. Ah! Uh! Every, look, every time you look at one of these episodes, you just, you need to have a drink or something with you, because you're gonna be here for the long haul. Um, now, anyways, as per usual, um, if you haven't seen the previous episodes of the series, go to Magpie Pony's channel and watch the first four episodes before watching this. Otherwise, there may be some things here that you're not going to understand on what's going on. I say this every time just in case some of you just happen to see this video before seeing the rest. So, give me an FYI, just go watch the other ones first so you have a better idea as to what's going on. Um, it's actually not been too long since I've actually taken a look at the, uh, fourth part. I actually haven't uploaded the fourth part yet as of the time I'm recording this, but it should be up. And no, I'm not even gonna say should. It will be up before this one comes up. Because that'd be stupid if I put episode five up before number four. Anyways, um, yeah, so basically, uh, the entire s situation that everyone's still in for this series is... Still very bonkers, and, uh, it looks like we're not gonna be having any, uh, any fixes anytime soon, so, um, let's just go ahead and jump in and see what happens in episode 5, and maybe, maybe, the group won't be in so much trouble this time, though I kinda doubt it, I feel like some, one of them's gonna screw up or something and, uh, get the group in even more trouble, but, uh, let's go ahead and jump in and see what happens in 3, 2, 1, go! Episode 5! The Pursuit of Tickets. Rise and shine, Hey, everybody. Discord! Breakfast is waiting. <sighs> so much yawning. Good morning, every pony. I'll rise, but I refuse to shine. <laughs> is this an apple? Does that look like an apple? It's an orange apple. Or legs, or little frightened screams. Oh, I do hope my accommodations were up to snuff. You did all sleep comfortably, correct? Where Where did they sleep? I wouldn't exactly call that comfortable. Oh, why, whatever do you mean, Rainbow Dash? You know exactly what I mean, Discord. It's kind oh. of hard to sleep in a room swarming with fish that swim around in the air, breathing out bubbles of water. <laughs> You think that was bad? That's pretty cool. My room was a hologram. Huh? Everything was fake, except perhaps the bed. I must have been searching wow, around for that's, for that's actually kind of badass. Before I found it in the middle of the dresser. I didn't dare look for a bathroom. And do you know how hard it was to find a door out of there this morning? My bed was a lie. It was like a cute little kitty. Oh, yes, it was. Dude, it looks like my uncle's freaking. It looks like one of the rooms in my uncle's house. This is all full of hunting stuff. Those padded rooms at the hospital, except it was too soft. I kept falling into the floor. Oh, that's a bitch. We're comparing notes. I guess my room didn't seem so bad. The whole thing was darn near edible, except the smells were all wrong. The chocolate bedpost smelled like oranges. The flower petal blanket smelled like blueberry pie, and the cotton candy pillow smelled like daisies. Huh. <laughs> Vicky is so jelly. I didn't eat any of it, Pinkie Pie. Quick, Discord, show me where Applejack slept. Pinkie, please. What you, Fluttershy. What was your room like? Well, hers was perfect. Um, my room was kind of normal. It was decorated to look like a summer meadow. Oh, and there were cute little animals painted on the walls. It was kind yeah. of sweet. Oh, sure. You get the special treat. Because Discord likes what? Fluttershy. This is the thanks that I get for opening up my home to you ponies. And here I thought we were friends. Shout out to them being in space. And I'm sure space. I'm grateful. We've just never stayed anywhere quite like this before. Right, girls? Yeah. Oh, yeah. he's shrunk down again. <laughs> 
All right, Ever Pony, let's get back to the task at hook. Yeah. Every minute we waste here is another minute Twilight is stuck in that dungeon cell. And who knows what Trixie's doing think to her? We'll practice flying on the southern hills just outside Canterlot. There's some awesome cliffs that we can use. C cliffs? Don't you worry, Spiky Wiky. I believe you. I won't let Rainbow hurt a single hair on your mane. <laughs> what the heck? Besides, it's just I'd weird. Rather not get dirt and dust in my mane from that. It's still Don't weird seeing Pinkie Pie me. calling Spiky Wiky while I looking at Rainbow Dash. Corn. It's just. Maybe if I'm lucky, I can get some caramel corn and peanuts and cotton candy. Oh, um, Applejack. Are you sure they won't let you in? Maybe if we just explore. Pinkie Pie's hopping never gets old to me. It's just so I'm sorry, Sugar Cube. weird. Those rodeo officials are mighty picky about their contestants. I've been in every event. I like these two on how they swapped. I don't think they'll allow a stand in at this point. But don't you Applejack and Fluttershy, their swap actually is kind of cool. Get us out of this mess. Are we sure it's a good idea to split up? That didn't work out so well for us the last time. It doesn't work out very well for Scooby Doo either. The best idea, Sugar Cube, but if we don't split up and search for clues, may not get Scooby, Shaggy, always get screwed. Should we just figure out a time and place to meet after? Or find food. How about the concession stand at the rodeo? Pinky, how are you still hungry? <laughs> right? Oh, I'm never too full for caramel corn. She's a bottomless corn. pit. Or regular corn with butter. How about we just agree to meet at the rodeo arena instead? So long as Spike learns how to fly quickly enough, we can get Spitfire and the Wonderbolts here before it's over. Yeah, Isn't good luck. Isn't Teddy going to invite me? How rude. <laughs> oh, Discord, would you like to come with us to- Oh, I'd love to, my but... dear Fluttershy. But I'm afraid I have plans of my own and won't have even a moment to spare. Convenient. Then what in the hoof are you going on about? Well, it's always nice to be asked. Discord is still a troll. Even when he's reformed, he's still a troll. Look who we are and what we have been through. Being a princess is all so brand new. Can't wait to see what our future has in store. Don't wanna wait anymore. To boredom, we say goodbye. Okay, one thing I have to mention is that um, the music for this section here is a hell of a lot louder than the voices were in the beginning. I had to double my volume to hear what they were saying before, but now this is like ringing in my ears. Freaking eye. Let the adventure begin. Friendship through the can of thin. Let the adventure begin. Do it. I mean, at least they changed the intro piece, but they kept the, they kept the music, which was really kind of eh to me anyways, right, but that's that's me. A little faster. No, wait, slow down. No, don't tilt like that. You'll just Oh! Oh gosh! I stayed up longer this time. <laughs> yes, so, but Why is Rarity there? Going to be getting anywhere, oh yeah, that's right to make sure that there's no abuse. Just fine. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it any moment now. I just need to get a little more speed going before I, I think I can. Off. I think I can smack. Ugh, he'll never learn to fly in time. Of course he will. He just needs a little more encouragement is all. <laughs> We got the good cop, bad cop thing. Look at all the progress you've made. Uh, thanks, Rarity. But you don't have to lie to me. I know how much is at stake. Oh, wow. I mean, what if Applejack doesn't win the rodeo and No Pony gets a ticket into the gala? And Twilight has to stay in the Canterlot dungeon even longer. Yeah, Applejack's gonna have a hard time winning the rodeo when she's... She doesn't have her strength anymore because she's in Fluttershy's body. I'm sorry you got stuck switched with me, Rainbow Dash. I wish you could have at least traded with Fluttershy. Or any other dragon for that matter. You know. Rip. One with wings? Now what kind of attitude is that? I'm glad you're the one who gets to fly up there and save the day. Wanna know why? 
Because you're the most determined little pony, or dragon, that I've ever met. Oh, here we go. Listen to me, Spike. I'll teach you how to fly. You've just got to be fast, then you'll be in the sky. And so... Now hold on, Remo Dash. It's not just about speed. Elegance and grace are what you really need for fleeting, flying, gliding. Elegance and grace. Are you joking me? He'll learn from the best. And that, of course, is me. I mean, to be fair, Rarity can't really give the best of ideas for flying, considering she can't fly herself. Oh my god. This? I... I just now recognize the pacing of this. Oh my god, what's that song called? I, I forgot. I recognized it. it seems so. I have far more talent. So tell me what you learned. It's gonna piss me off because I can't remember it. To your doom. Was it really I use I hear it a lot on the radio when I'm at restaurants. Don't need you. Oh, you're the one to talk after what we've seen you do. Oh gosh. Rainbow crush what they used to call you. You're <laughs> Wow, that's kind of dirty, bring it back that. Bring back her memories of Rainbow Crash. Okay, how about we do half and half? This part right there, I recognize that. The, the pacing. What is that? <laughs> Yo, you mad? <laughs> Keep on dreaming. It is you. Oh, I gosh. shall be creaming. Things are looking down. <laughs> Meanwhile, Spice is like crying in the corner. He'll be soaring high. Yeah, right. It will happen. It won't happen. Yeah. You guys, you're wasting all the precious time. What is this? I can't remember the song. <laughs> there you go! My thought process every episode! Just do this, just do it instead of singing the, the song! Hey, you! I'm next to singing. Now get out there and smash into another tree. Hmm. What? I just don't know how you did it. Cheer up, Spike, like that. I've been trying all morning to give him some encouragement. It's a he tag team thing. Wasn't around me. Maybe he can't take you seriously when you look like that. <laughs> what? <laughs> not you. Are you kidding me? Pinkie Pie or not, I am still the best motivator to my little spiky wiki, and I am going to prove it. Oh, hey, Rarity. Uh. I know, I know. I'm doing so well, and I'll get it soon. Now you listen here, Spike. Oh, you're shit. You're going to get up there, and you're going to maintain your altitude, and you will land on the ground with grace. Do you hear me? How do you really feel? Uh, it's just like I said before. Flying is not just about speed. It's like a dance. There are so many different factors. But you don't fly. Consideration. 
Use the breeze to lift up your wings and allow it to carry your whole body. Flap your wings in unison. Make them work together to lift you up off the ground. <coughs> hey, look! I'm doing it! Thanks, Rarity! What the fuck? <laughs> That's exactly what I've been trying to teach him all morning! How did you know all that? Hey, it's funny. It comes around and goes around. Remember my famous debut in Cloudsdale with my beautiful... That fucking face. Beautiful wings. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to say anything, but even a graceful pony like myself needed to take a few flying attempts before she got the hang of it. Honestly, I don't see what all those fuss is head. about. Rainbow! Rarity! Look at me! <laughs> That's great, Spike. Now it's time to put it to the real test. Ah, oh, shit. Let's head on over to those cliffs. The c cliffs Whoa. Whoa. Yep, saw that coming. I hope Age is having better luck than we are. Something tells me she's not. <clears throat> Name, please. Hey! Applejack. And these are my... Uh, coaches. Hmm. Both of them? Yes. Yes. Hmm. Fluttershy here handles all the My gosh, your ears are huge. Now, did you remember to get the sparkling? Look at them ears, they're bigger than What the fuck? There are no dressing rooms here. This is a rodeo, not a fashion show. What? You will be hearing from our lawyers. We were our <laughs> Piggy, please. Come on, rarity. Let's leave the nice official alone now. I'll have my ponies contact your ponies. You hear me? <laughs> um, let's go. Cider. <laughs> wow. What in the hay was all that? I don't know. Isn't that what manager ponies do? I mean, I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, look. We're supposed to warm up over there with the other contestant ponies. Be careful. I still like Flowshy wearing AJ's hat. I don't know why. It just it looks cool. That one there is Red Spur. He's the champion from Van Hoover. Lavender Fritter from Appaloosa. Ginger Gold from Baltimore. Baltimore. Watch out for ugh, Bell Star. She's a nasty one. Don't want to get caught up in her path. Oh great! So she's an asshole. I don't think I can do this. <laughs> Nonsense. We've just got to stick to the plan. Remember. <clears throat> Right. So oh shit, this style. I have to lasso that bale it's been a while since I've seen this. Drag it over the line there, and then fall into the mud pit at the second challenge? Exactly. It's the same trick Rarity and I pulled at Sisterhood Social. Ah! We reach the finish line, and then you can jump in and claim the prize. Hi. Why don't we give lassoing a try? Okay. Huh, so they're gonna be trying to reenact the whole the social thing with the swapping. Good luck. Also, y'all don't have the same hairstyle or anything like that, like at all. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't don't be sorry. That that was great. Just gotta work on your aim a bit, is all. What's the matter, Applejack? I'm finally getting to you, huh? I seen better last wing from kindergarten Phillies. Guess you're not really cut out for the big leagues, are ya? I already hate this one. Maybe you're afraid you'll lose to a non-farm pony. <laughs> That'd be embarrassing. I would never... She would never be afraid of the likes of you. Whatever. I'll see you at the finish line as long as I'm not too bored from waiting. Somebody falcon punch her, please. Oh, you'll see please her, right. do it. You'll see she will her not be missed. The trophy. Applejack? Why that no good sad wanted salamander? Applejack, what if she's right? <laughs> Kill her! Lasso this in time. You've got plenty of time, Fluttershy. A whole ten minutes to practice. Ten, ten minutes? minutes? Fucking ten minutes? That's not play. Oh, nice watch. Strike that. I guess my watch is a bit slow. Not even ten minutes. Like ten seconds. You'll be just fine. All you have to worry about is reaching that mud pit, okay? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Come on, Butterfly. Let's get you to the line. Oh hey. 
Lyra and Bon Bon. Is Bon is the fuck? Is Lyra drinking a Red Bull with a straw? Don't say accept. Sure. Unless you count the time that I slipped and fell. Damn it, land on my face. <laughs> or maybe you would have been good if you had just stopped right there. This is starting to get like where that in that episode where Pinky made Fluttershy cry. You can do it, Flutter. Yeah, Applejack. <laughs> Flutter Applejack. Oh my gosh, Pinky! Pinky! The friggin' gunshot scared her. Come on! Come on, Fluttershy! Like, literally. Do it! Come on. Oh. Somebody please falcon punch her. Why is she not gone yet? Hey. Just go. Hey. Great job, partner. I'll take it from here. Poor Fluttershy. But she needs to get to the other side. But she has to get to the, to the back to the victory thing so she can do the swap again. This year's Equestria Rodeo Days Championship. The contestant ponies are making their way to the bull maze now with huh? Red Spur in the lead, followed by Golden Harvest and Applejack. For those of you unfamiliar with this final event, each pony will have to wear a brightly colored vest and guide one of Equestria's finest bulls through the hay maze to the finish line. Really? The pony whose bull crosses the line first is the winner. That's an interesting the idea. Brightly colored for a reason. Each of these bulls hit her, hit her, hit her, hit her. Certain color, each of them different, so that each contestant pony is responsible for one bull and one bull alone. It's any pony's game now. We all know the one that I want to lose. You can do this. Twilight's counting on you. Mm. Yeehaw! Get along, you big critter. Is that little bastard going to cheat? I will not be beaten by that bar pony. Yep, she is. I think I need a shortcut. Damn it! On, big stupid animal, follow me. Oh, please attack her instead. No, no, go help! No! Come on, let her die! <laughs> she won't be missed! She won't be missed! You can probably help the other one, though. A wild Fluttershy appears. Your disguise has been ruined! Oh, what? Pinky the Jester? Yo! Know, you ever heard of karma? This is what you get for trying to freaking like ugh. Yeah, you deserve it. Sorry. Oh hey! Looks like Spike and RD got there. Hey, the water both did something for once. You were almost trampled. I would have been if it weren't for Spitfire here. Looks like we came just in time. Are the other contestants safe? Thanks to you. I was just doing what I had to do. All right, Thunderbolts, let's round up some cats. I mean, You're the only pony they're not cows the necessarily. Does that mean you win? Uh, I don't think so, Spike. They know we cheated. Aw, uh, come on! You should get extra points for saving lives. No shit, right? Doesn't matter anyway. The Wonderbolts are here. We don't need those tickets. Spitfire will get us in. Yeah, about that. I think we should go have a little talk somewhere a bit less rowdy. 
Oh shit. Well, I don't think anybody should get the tickets at this point. It should just be a disqualification. something we can do to help you know if you can figure out how to get inside we'll be more than happy to help you get past that phony princess if what spike tells us is true it sounds to me like trixie's the kind of pony who likes a lot of attention sure <laughs> you got that right well it's better than nothing i guess okay Sorry to hear this happen. so they're gonna distract her imagine our surprise when spike here shows up looking like you rainbow <laughs> and just in the nick of time too <laughs> We've got to go. Our show starts soon. Come find us once you're inside. Yeah, I'm sorry we can't be more helpful. We'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Are you eavesdropping? Oh, I can't believe how much fun it is to watch you ponies in a crisis. <laughs> Price. Bop him in the head, please. <laughs> Wait, what? Are you telling me you've been watching us all along? Thought you had more important things to do today than help us. <laughs> oh well, you see, <clears throat> that's a funny story. The more I thought about it, the more I felt left out. I didn't want to miss out on your. You weren't next felt left out. Adventure. They invited you. You've been putting on quite the performance, my little ponies. I'd have to say my favorite part so far has been the flying lesson you gave our little dragon friend. You watched that and you didn't even offer to go to Cloudsdale for us? Oh, you were getting along just fine without me. Uh, Discord is still a troll. Because I'm the best flyer there will ever be. <laughs> Fabulous. So fabulous, in fact, that I think it's inspired me to write a little something of my own. You gonna become an author? Uh, um. <laughs> me, 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 me. Oh, frick. You barely seem to think that the reform discord what? has lost his sense of chaos. Could this possibly be true? No. Positively no. The Spanish for no. No. Shocking! Spot. Discord's not good at making music. So why the long faces? Have I left your good graces? I think it's about time someone taught you ponies a thing or two about having fun. And it's particularly handsome. Bro, what the hell are you wearing? Are the most clever once said, making sense. Where's the fun? Don't you know that is so overdone? Don't you see what fun can be had when the whole world's going mad? What's what? the point of a trial if the task doesn't bring you a smile? Now I can study spell before a boring old cure, or maybe fight a fools like a matador. <laughs> yeah, that, that would have been a little bit more helpful the earlier the if you had done that. Where's the fun? Pay for cash, where's the fun? If the plot ends before it's begun Except said the plot has already begun Spike here would never a flu Try have a mayhem to Have a ball after all, that's what I do I start off introducing just a problem or two Then watch your crazy parodies try to muddle on through Wow It's rather entertaining just to see what you'll do That's what Piggy is like a full-on puppet time. right there Wow, or, excuse me, rarity, rarity in Pinkie Pie. Sing along, why don't you? After all, it's fun. <laughs> Where's the fun? Where's the fun? Of course, Pinkie no, would laugh at that. So there was no harm done. I couldn't very well just let this pat me on by. Because watching you all make me laugh so hard I could cry. <clears throat> <laughs> They're still not amused at all by Discord. <laughs> Especially Applejack. Just Applejack just looks like she wants to kill him. <laughs> Ew. What is that oh. face? Where's the fun? Where's the fun? Where's the fun? <laughs> it's probably in the mirror pool with all the other uh, pinky clones. Look who's talking! Uh, 
Talking about saying they're all hopeless. What do we do now? Smack him in the side of the head. Maybe we could just sneak in. That's a mite too risky. Every garden canterlot will be there. <clears throat> well, though I'm loath to admit it, I find the most efficient way to get oneself into a party is with an invitation. Oh, hey! Well, that would be convenient. <laughs> Pinky! I like you a little bit more now. You strangled him. How? Princess Celestia gave them to me. As she told me to invite you ponies while she was gone. As she said you six might keep things interesting. Is that the face that Discord had when he was talking to Tyrek in the show? If you don't want my tickets, then I can just invite some pony else. Don't you even think about it. My, if looks could kill, I'd be a goner. Oh, come now. Has every pony lost their sense of humor? Hmm? Discord, I think you need to go. I beg your oh. pardon. I said, I think you need to go. Oh, I get it. Every pony is mad at me. Does every pony really feel this way? Would you really turn away a friend who has saved you in this hour of need? But you also don't you let you, them. Mister. You've hurt your friend's feelings, and you need to give us some space until you can say you are sorry. <laughs> sorry? What about you, Pinkie Pie? Surely you can take a good joke. Hmm? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Should that help? I can take a hint. Maybe I'll just give you all a little time to appreciate my humor. When you're ready to be friends again, you know where to find me. Remind me again why we continue to associate with that creature? I have no idea where it is. <laughs> right? No idea. It's not like he was that much of help against uh, Tyrek. I mean, he could have stopped Tyrek on his I own, but then, you know, at every door. we saw how that happened. Yes, ma'am. This gala cannot, <laughs> will not be ruined by those meddlesome ponies. Frickin' Trixie. I refuse to let my night fall to ruin because of your incompetence. I mean, really, how hard is it to capture a little dragon and a pony? We're yes. sorry, ma'am. We're still looking for Damn, she is tainting Twilight's Don't name. They've no doubt joined up with their little friends by now. All I care about is keeping them out. Every guest must have a ticket, no exceptions. And if you find them, I want them brought to me immediately. Is that understood? Uh, could you describe them, ma'am? Oh, I don't know. One of them has a rainbow in her mane. One of them's pink. I think one of them's a unicorn. Ugh, I can't be expected to remember all that. Just uh, look for the little dragon. They'll be with him. Yes, ma'am. Oh, well, that's a bitch. Ugh. I'm surrounded by idiots. Oh! <laughs> well, uh, I didn't see Awkward. you. Awkward. Is something the matter, Twilight Sparkle? Yeah. What? It's oh, Trixie. No. That's Fine. why. What makes you say that? Weren't those your friends you were just describing? My friends? No, no, no. These are completely different ponies. My friends are... Well... They're super busy. These other ponies were the ones that were trying to harbor Trixie, and I'm sure they're going to want to try and sneak into the gala to break her out. That is a rather large coincidence, don't you think? Coincidence? Yes. Five ponies and a dragon. <laughs> Come on, Luna. I, you, princess. I know exactly what we're up against. Trust me, these ponies are not ones to be trifled with. Hmm. Luna doesn't want to deal with your bullshit. If you'll excuse me. Fuck I'm off, neighbor! For the gala to oversee. Something is not right. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> to be continued, where Luna freaking extracts Trixie's soul from Twilight's body and freaking obliterates it.
I'm so sorry for Mary Medley for having to voice a complete bitch character. What is that name? Crick? I think that's what it said. It is true, though. It just kind of makes sense that Fluttershy would be the one to get, like, the decent room, while everyone else is something wrong with it, considering Fluttershy and Discord are essentially friends. Although, to be honest, Pinky seemed to be more or less okay with her room, despite the fact that her bed was literally alive. I don't know what the hell is going on with this one. I don't know how she ever got. I don't know how Rimadash or uh, Spike got any sleep ever if she kept if he just kept falling. <clears throat> yeah. The jumbo ears. So this is the second time that the whole roll swap from the from falling in the mud has been used between this and the actual canon series. And both times it didn't work out. <laughs> Something happened and they would and then caused them to still fail. But it's true though, like, even if it did work and like there was no cheating and stuff. They would have to somehow swap at the end or something to make it act because like at some point they would have to shake the mud off themselves and be like, yeah, I'm the winner. But if they without doing the second swap again, it would just be, you know, the body of Fluttershy there instead of the body of Applejack, who was originally in the brace in the beginning. So, yeah, <sighs> that one point there was a complete douche. And I really, really wish that they didn't have to save her, but what can you do? Anywho, uh, that was episode five of Trixie Sparkle. And okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and compare this to some of the older episodes and say that this series is getting better. It is finally showing improvement over the other ones, which um, unfortunately really weren't that great. But the, and the whole reason why I stuck around for it was for two things. One, because I wanted to know what happened story-wise. And then two, because I was promised by both the creators of the series that it was going to get a lot better in the future episodes, which it has. The visuals and stuff has gotten better. It's It changes more. It changes a bit more often. And the, uh, the show assets that's actually used in this, they aren't as poorly put into them. So it's... It seems a little bit more um, natural, although I can still tell a lot of times that which ones are kind of just like pasted on there, but not, they don't look as bad as they did or anything like that in the previous episodes, so they are getting better. Unfortunately, I still have that gripe where the songs are twice as long as that they need to be, but I'm not going to keep rehashing that as long as I do for every other episode because, well... I don't think they ever. I don't think they're gonna change that. Something that they did change, however, was the visuals for the um the theme song thing that they did. the The lyrics and stuff were still the same, but the visuals were changed um for this one. Uh, they they're probably gonna be keeping this for the rest of the episodes after this. I would think. I don't think they're gonna go back to how it was for episodes one through four, but I don't know. Not entirely certain right now, but huh. Huh, huh, huh. Yeah, Discord's still a troll. <laughs> Discord is still a freaking troll, and uh, I was hoping one of them would bop him inside the head when he showed up, and he's just laughing at him. He was just, just like, like that, just smack him inside the head. It's like, where the hell were you? And uh, freaking, I don't know what Trixie's gonna be doing because uh, she's starting to get. 
she's starting to have Princess Luna be a bit suspicious about what she's doing, and I don't know. Luna's just catching on slowly that something is really up with it, but she's not quite sure what is up with it yet, but I'm pretty sure at some point she's probably going to be the one who, like, is going to be the first one to actually understand fully what's going on outside of the people, who, outside of the ponies who already know it. Like, outside of Twilight and her actual friends, uh, Luna might might be the first one to actually realize what's actually going on. But, unfortunately, right now, Trixie still kind of has the advantage here, and with everyone showing up at the gala, I'm assuming next episode, uh, it could go either way. Maybe they could sneak around and actually get to explore some things, maybe find uh, where Twilight's being held at, or... Maybe one of them is going to get captured, like freaking Trixie said, was to look for the little dragon. So, maybe they, like, split up, and once they get inside the gala, and Spike gets found on his own, and he gets captured, but everyone else is, you know, not caught because they were all split up. So, they, they just grabbed the one thing that they knew to look for. I don't know, but... For now, though, I think that is going to be it for my take on this episode, everybody. And uh, until episode 6 reaction comes around, this is Brother Boss 44 saying, see you guys later.